Welcome back to Fan's Learning Center. In today's video, we will be multiplying by 10, 100, and 1000. I will be showing you a trick. The first number we're going to write is 37 times by 10. So, 37 times by 10, what does that mean? That means we are going to be times in the number 37. 10 times. 37 times by 1 equals 37. And then we're going to be dropping the 0. How many zeros do we have? 1 0. So we will be dropping 1 0 because 10 has 1 0. The next question is going to be very similar. 30 7 times by 100. Again, we're going to use the same method. 37 times by 1, which gives us 37. How many zeros do we have? We're going to think about how many zeros we have, and we have realised that we have two zeros. 1, 2. So we're going to be put, popping down two zeros. The next question will be also very similar. Thirty-seven times by one thousand. So we're going to think about 37 times by 1 is 37. Now let's look at how many zeros we have. 1, 2, 3. Let me write down 1, 2 and 3 on top to show you there are 3 zeros in 1000. So what do we do? Yes, you are right. We drop down 3 zeros just like that. So let's look at the pattern. So as you can see that the number is getting big. So if we, every number is getting big. So when we're times it by 10, we're adding one zero. When we're times it by 100, we're adding two zeros. When we are times in by 1000, we are adding three zeros. I hope you enjoyed this tip. You can use this tip with any any whole number and you can times it by 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, 100,000 and even a million. You are used by just remember to look at the zeros. Think about how many zeros you have and you should have the same amount of zeros after in the answer thank you so much for watching first learning center thank you for watching please like and share this video and subscribe to fast learning